Hi everybody, Mr. Johnson here, and today we are talking about our positive negative space drawing project. Uh, this one will give you a lot of creative freedom to choose a subject, uh, but I just want to talk about kind of the relationship between positive and negative space and how you can show that in interesting ways in your artwork. So let's go. So what is positive and negative space in drawing? So uh, Hopefully you during this project after you watched the video on the element of space But as a quick recap the positive space in an artwork is the space occupied by your object your subject So in the first drawing here of the face the face and the neck right that's the positive space That's what's taken up by the object the negative space is that unoccupied uh, space around your object. So that would be shaded in black here. This is the negative space because it's not taken up by a subject, right? Positive space, that's where your subject is. Negative space, it's the area around it. Now in this drawing on the right, um, this is uh, some kind of plant, right? In a, in a planter or pot or something. So uh, this drawing emphasizes the negative space because the object is left blank and they've shaded in the negative space around that object. Does that make sense? Right, in the face drawing, the emphasis is on the positive space because all the detail is there. On the drawing on the right of the plant, the emphasis is on the negative space because that's what they've shaded in. So the positive shape, um, if you look at right the silhouette of these chairs, the black area where the chairs are, that's the positive space. The negative space is that empty area around it. So hopefully that correlation makes sense because in our art assignment for this project, we're gonna play with these concepts of positive and negative space. So take a look at the RAM. I know this was in the space video, but this is such a great example. Um, this is kind of like what you are gonna do for your project. You're gonna choose a subject. It can be anything that you want to draw. So totally up to you, animals, mythical creatures, objects from your kitchen, uh, a portrait of a puppy, uh, whatever, doesn't matter. And we're going to draw it where part of the drawing re represents the positive space and the other part highlights the negative space. Kind of like this ram, positive space on the left highlights the negative space on the right. Here, take a look at scissors. Right, these pair of scissors are drawn where one drawing highlights the positive space because all the details are there. The negative space is the blank paper around it. But here on these scissors on the top, the artist has emphasized the negative space. So they're drawing the outline of the scissors, right, just like a silhouette of them, just the outline, no detail. But the emphasis with color is all on the negative space around it. I think this is so cool. So there are different ways you can do this. In this example, and in the example of the ram, the artist has drawn the same subject twice, one time emphasizing the negative space, leaving the subject blank, another time emphasizing the positive space, leaving the background blank. Or you can do one drawing and split it. So in this drawing um, of, these, of these lovely plants, the artist has split it right in half, right, vertically, straight from top to bottom. So in this instance, you would draw this first, then split it. And on the left side, they've emphasized the positive space because the subject uh, is full of detail and texture. You can see the individual little marks made for the little fluffy bits on the plant. Right? The artist has really played that up and left the negative space blank. On the other half, they emphasize the negative space by filling it in and leaving, um, the silhouette of the subject blank. I hope that makes sense to you. Um, I'll show you a few examples. All right, so here for these flowers, again, the artist has split it in half, and on, on the left side, emphasize the negative space. They filled it in, left the subject blank. And on the other half, they emphasize the positive space, fill it in with details, leave the background blank. Um, so let's watch someone create some really cool negative space chairs. These are pretty awesome. So again, he's got a sketchbook. Now he's doing three different versions of this. This music isn't too loud for This is all created by gluing down some ripped paper. Just glue sticks and some, uh, an old uh, paper bag. 
But watch how he creates the shape of the chair by emphasizing the negative space. And when he's done, what's left is a blank image of the chair. Or I think this is so cool. He's technically, he's not making the chair with that paper, he's making the space around the chair. And now he's using the pencil just to refine some of the edges. Hard to make that all just by cutting out uh, the bags. He's showing some of the little, uh, little spaces in there, just cutting out small areas. Really, really cool. I think this is a great representation of what you can do with space. All right, isn't that awesome? I'm actually going to jump ahead a little bit so you can see what it looks like at the end. So now he's adding shading into some of the positive space areas. Adding shading into the, the seat of the chairs, some backs of the legs. This is just really, really cool. Good, because at the end, the, all the images go away. We don't want to watch that. We want to look at what he's made. I think this is a really cool art technique because he's obviously drawn chairs and stools, right? Stool here and, and chairs, and there's a little shelf. But instead of the negative space being empty, being blank, um, he's highlighted the negative space by collaging some paper right into those areas. And he's cut them so that the edges of the paper form the shape of the chair, but he's really emphasized the negative space around the chair. I think that's so cool, such a really neat way to draw attention to space in an artwork. So here's uh, one that an artist did digitally. This is a digital drawing. So if any of you, um, you know, have a, a drawing tablet or any of the apps for drawing digitally, you are welcome to do that. This is a great example of that. Um, here uh, is this wrench tool that they've drawn the positive space image on the bottom and emphasize the negative space, right, by keeping the object blank on the top. So here are your instructions. You're going to choose a subject for your drawing, any subject that you want. Uh, make sure you get a reference. So either look at that subject in real life, have it in front of you or find a photo of that subject. So if you want to draw an animal, uh, you know, maybe you want to do an elephant, right, for this drawing, and you don't happen to own an elephant, uh, Google is a great way to find a really great image of an elephant. That way you can look at it while you draw. Now, draw your subject so you can emphasize both the positive space and the negative space. So there are two options. One of them is to draw the image once, draw it large, split your drawing, and on one half, emphasize the positive space with details, and on the other half, fill in the negative space and leave your subject blank. Or, like the ram on the bottom, draw your subject twice on one page. One drawing, focus on the positive space with details, and the second drawing, leave your subject blank and fill in the negative space. It's totally up to you. I do want to point out, I found this really cool example online on the top, where instead of splitting their drawing just straight in half, this artist has split into different segments, different sections, and over here on the right, emphasize the positive space, and in this section, the positive space, and up here, the positive space, and then on the left side, right, the negative space, the top right corner, the negative space, and the bottom, the negative space. So you certainly don't have to just make it straight in half. You can if you want to, it's entirely up to you. All, all I'm looking for is that you can say, hey, this part of the drawing is all about the positive space, and this part of the drawing is all about the negative space. How you decide to split that up is entirely up to you. Let your imagination run wild. Um, I hope 
you have some great ideas after viewing these resources and look at these examples. If you still have questions or you're not sure about how to set up a positive negative space drawing, please let me know. I'm here to help you. Uh, and uh, I can't wait to see the images that you post. Uh, remember to take progress photos so you can upload them to your digital portfolio. And uh, I, I can't wait to see it. Woohoo!